In fly fishing, there's nothing more enjoyable than seeing a big trout rise up and grab your dry fly off the surface of the water. Dry flies imitate the adult insects that are hopping, crawling, floating, and flying on and around the water. And for these to be effective, they need to stay on top of the water. And so in this video, we're going to be looking at dry fly floating. We're going to be looking at the four major types of floating available in the shop. Gel floating, powder floating, liquid floating, and desiccant or shake. Then we're going to look at when do we use each type of floating and the pros and cons of each. The first type of pre-treatment floating that we're going to look at is our gel floating. This is a silicone based fly floating and it just takes a little bit that we're going to add to the surface of the hair, hackle, or yarn of our dry flies to help keep that water away and stop it from being absorbed into the fly. Gel floating works very well with flies that are tied with hair and hackle. And we're going to use the lightest coating of this gel floating to coat the surface of this hair and hackle to keep water from being absorbed into our fly. It doesn't take much. Too much gel floating and it's going to begin to gunk up and weight down our flies. So just the smallest drop is applied to your finger and then we're going to rub that in to the hair and hackle of our flies. One of the limitations of this silicone based gel floating is that while it is really good on hair hackle or antron like yarns, it is not effective for this light CDC feather type dry flies. When we apply gel floating to a CDC feather, it's going to clump up, weight it down, and cause it to sink. So only use gel floating on hair, hackle, and yarn type dry flies. There are a number of different types of gel floating in the fly shop. Here's a chart that shows the absorption rates of water over 10 minutes utilizing the different types of gel floating in the shop. The best overall is the high and dry gel floating, but if your local shop doesn't have it, get the next best one on the list, apply it to your dry flies, and start catching fish. The second floating that I'm going to show you is the liquid floating. Liquid floating, like our gel floating, is a pre-treatment, so we're going to use this on our dry flies before we put them on the water. There's several different types of liquid float in the fly shop, but I encourage you look for one that is made out of natural materials and not oil-based. Solvent-based and oil-based floats are going to smell like lighter fluid, and when they hit the water, you're going to see a slick of oil spread out across the surface of the water. This is not good for the fish, it's not good for the environment, and there are other options that are going to work better. Similar to our gel type floats that we use to pre-treat our dry flies, our liquid floating is going to be good for hair and hackle type dries, foam and antron yarn dries, but it's not going to be good for the CDC feather type dry flies. As you can see from this comparison chart, there are several different types of liquid floating available on the market. You'll see that again, high and dry is the highest performing, but if you don't have high and dry in your local fly shop, get whatever's next best on the list. The third type of dry fly floating is a powder floating with an applicator brush. This is going to be used both as a pre-treatment for our CDC type feathers as well as a post-treatment when our flies have started to absorb water and we're trying to refloat them and get them back on top of the water. After we've caught several fish and our dry fly has been gunked up with fish goo or it's just started to take on water after a long day of dry fly fishing, we can apply some of our powdered dry fly floatant. There's an applicator brush in the bottle and attached to the lid of these powder type floatants. To apply it to our dry fly, just brush it into the hair, hackle, or feathers, and this is ready to be refloated, recast, and catch more fish on the surface of the water. Another unique application for these powdered floatants with the little applicator brush is to add additional action and motion to some of your different wet fly or nymph patterns. Here we have a guide's choice hare's ear or a wet hackle hare's ear and you can see this soft hackle wrap wrapped around the shank of the hook. We can give this fly additional life, bounce, and movement in the water by brushing some of our dry fly floatant into that wet hackle. 
So as it goes down the river, it's going to be encased in bubbles, adding realistic motion to this nymph and really seducing the attention and aggression of those trout. Here's a comparison of all the different types of powder floating available in the fly shop. Choose whatever one is available in your area. The final type of dry fly floating we're going to look at is called shake or desiccant. This can be a pre-treatment but is primarily used as a post-treatment. After our flies begun to take on water and sink, we're going to break out the shake or desiccant. Desiccant is just a fancy word for some sort of substance that is absorbent. And so what we're going to do is once our dry fly is saturated and beginning to sink, we can open up this bottle, drop our dry fly into it, and give it a shake. What the desiccant is going to do is draw the moisture back out of that fly and then it's going to coat it with that same silicate dry fly powder so it's going to be re refloated, covered in bubbles, and staying on top of the water where the fish are looking to feed on those dry flies. Dry fly shake can be used on any type of dry fly. So it's going to be good on refloating your hair and hackle type dry flies, your foam and yarn type dry flies, as well as your CDC type dry flies. Here's a comparison of the different types of shake and how they perform on the water. I hope that this video is helpful in breaking down the different types of dry fly floating, how to use them, where to use them, and how they're going to compete and compare on the water. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave comments below. Also, if you need some dry fly floating, Ascent Fly Fishing has you covered and will keep you floating. Tight lines.